All right, everybody, here we are today for lunch. We wanna show how easy it is to pull out a rollout door, just because we've had a lot of guys ask about it, because if you ding a slat, there's a extra door slats up in the top of each door to swap them out. So we're gonna show you how easy it is. The top plate happens to be off on this one, but that doesn't matter. So what we're gonna show you is how to do it. So I got my shop foreman here, Jeff. He's gonna show you the features and how to do it. So let's start and we'll go from there. So to start a door, you have to roll it down part way because what you need is you need a pin, which most of the time there's one tucked in a corner of a door. All it is is usually in there like that. So you want to take that guy. Then you have to roll it down part way because the, the door itself, you need to be able to pin the roller so that you can take it out. So how do you know where to pin it? Because there's a hole, isn't there? There's a hole. Let's look at this one. So we're going to walk down it. a door so you guys can see it a little bit better. So if you look, we're going to sit in here. And if you look up there in that little slat, hold it right, go a little bit more. You'll see a little, keep going. There we go. Woo, it's getting dark. There you go. At the end of the roller, you'll see a little hole that you pin the pin in right there. There we go. Got some light. There you go. So you can see there's a roller and there'll be a hole in that. And that's where you pin it. All right. Let's roll this back up. So you pin it in that hole and that's where we're going to find it. So in the little door, we're just going to do this little door because it's the easiest one to show. So he's going to roll this back down just a little bit turn it on us there we go so see he can find the roller hole he's gonna pin it in right there so you see uses that pin catches that little hole and the reason you do that is so that spring doesn't ring zing the door back up on you okay now what we do is we you grab that roller up there and you turn turn this out by pulling the other two pins here and the other side. So this is the pin, what it looks like that you should be pulling out. So you pull that pin out. There's one on each side. And so that disconnects it up there so that this door can come off that roll, okay? So now that door is free. So you can see the door is free from the spring. So if you push it up, you can see how it's loose. See, it's loose up there. So what you have to do. I got the door. Is lift those tabs out of there. There we go. I got it. Okay. Then all you have to do to finish taking this door out is these torque screws, one here, one here. Take those two, take those two. Four on the little doors, there's six on the big doors. And this door will come right out. So that's, that, that's and then when you get through. done, all you have to do is this slat will just slide out and you can slide it into place of your damaged slat. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Jeff, appreciate the help. And you can see that in three minutes, we had the door disconnected. You pull a slat out in about a couple minutes. So in less than 10 minutes, you could have your door back together. Thanks everybody.